have to stay with them as they go through that dribble handoff, and it's so effective. Pierre scored over Karnowski. Four points for Deshaun Pierre. He's in Mark Hughes said, yeah, if there's a dunk contest here, we're not going to win it, but it'll be just about anybody in the country in a game of horse. Count the goal for Pierre, and he'll have a chance for a three-point play as Dayton tries to scratch back in. Well, that's how Dayton's got to do it. Get a defensive stop, and then run. Beat this zone down the floor. Play ahead of the defense. Deshaun Pierre. He's at such an efficient wing. He's got size and skills. And I think a really great feel. Pollard's foul was his first. And a three, finally, for Dayton. Their first of the ball game. It comes from Jordan Seibert, who has seven points. Actually, a defensive foul more than an offensive one. Good drive. Three for Kari Price. Got a wing ball screen, a slip, and then a second ball screen. Nice drive and score by Devin Oliver. Cool whistles, and it's been a much more enjoyable game to watch than the opening moments of this second half. There's that great pass Jay was talking about. Scott to Cyber. It's a three-point game. Big and strong, and Dower just covered him up in there. Ari Price. That one rattles home, and it's the first lead for Dayton. Go. Tied at 51. The winner advances to the semifinals tomorrow night. Strong move to the bucket by Pierre. Dayton by two. Pierre has 11. Stockton across for a three from Pangos. Karnowski poked it out, but it wound up with Seibert. And Pollard scores. Boy, he's having a good night, we mentioned. He hadn't even taken a shot in their first four games. Open three to Sean Pierre. Good position by Pollard. An unexpected star of this game for Dayton. Making the extra pass. The go-to guy has been the open man, and Pollard just with the inside position and blocking out the bigger Karnowski, who's in a little bit of foul trouble. And John, we talked about the glass. Can Zep minutes left in the game? Winner will play Baylor tomorrow night, one of the semifinals, Syracuse and Cal. In the other semi, score it, and a foul on Dower. Devin Oliver will have a chance for a three-point play. Three fouls on Dower, and Gonzaga has very little depth in that front court. Devin Oliver just pulled his way to the basket. And Dower, if he'd gone straight up, probably wouldn't have picked up a foul, just brought that arm down just a bit. That's what Gonzaga really needs to work on. They've got to become a better rebounding team. They're not going to get any bigger. But they've got to have all five guys getting on the glass. Seibert for three! 20 points for Jordan Seibert. This is the largest lead for Dayton. And Mark Few calls a timeout. What a turnaround for Dayton. So far down in the first half, Seibert with the mismatch with Dower on him in the corner, gave him a little jab step and just pulled up the second game in a row. He's hit 20 points at 20 points against Georgia Tech and Dower giving him some space because he can drive it. And he just pulls up and drills it. Sanford splits the defense all the way to the bucket. And that undersized Gonzaga team couldn't get a rebound. Seibert for three. They could have run some clock, but they got a wide open three, and Seibert buried it. This will be the biggest win of his head coaching career for Archie Miller. Stockton's three doesn't go, and an upset in the last quarterfinal game of the day. Dayton 16 down in the first half.
beats Gonzaga by five. Jordan Seibert proving he is indeed going to make a big difference for the Flyers this year in his first year in a UD uniform. Dayton in the second half was outstanding defensively on the glass and they defended the post much better. They proved to be the stronger team mentally and physically in this one. So a surprise, not a huge surprise. Everybody knew Dayton brought a good team here, but they were certainly the underdog. And they will advance to take on Baylor in the second semifinal tomorrow night at 9.30 Eastern time. That follows Cal and Syracuse at 7 Eastern time. Dayton shot 61% from the floor in the second half to come back and win. Once again, the final score is 84-79 Dayton over the Zags.